this grain is absolutely wacky right here. I'm just going to have to just take it away from this edge and then come back in next to that crazy part with a file. Oh, it's 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 terrible right there. It's wanting to lead me down roads that I can't go down. This over here is not that bad. But over here is terrible. I'm going to have to flip it around and bring, cut it from the other direction. That leaves me enough there I can sand that. That's all I need. Um, I crossed a milestone working on this. I got this thing fitted. The metal is all in inleted. I've got it fitted to where it works. It snaps in. And I've got this inside sanded. This is ready to finish. I'm going to put a, little, a couple little accent lines when I start checkering. I'll put some little straight lines down here and down this rib down in the middle. That's just nothing except for looks. It's just somebody cared enough to jazz up the inside a little bit. On a gun like this, I do stuff like that. All right, now this is bandsawed. This is a surface that's been bandsawed, so it's not super smooth. It's not true. It's just I got I got the the gist of it out of the way. What I did was I laid this original, and it's like I said before, it's so helpful to have the original. I laid the original on here. And then just do it, did an outline, and now I've got to get rid of these bandsaw marks. I've got my my uh, metal trimmed around on the back and on this bottom escutcheon. It's uh, it's trimmed to within sanding distance. The shape, obviously, there's a square edge here that there's not here. So this gets rounded heavily all the way out, and this front gets thinner as as the front goes forward it goes down to a point kind of a point and then there's a little relief uh, relieved area in here that I've got a buff off down here that's just for a finger pull when you go to pull pull this lever you can get your finger underneath it and smooth something to pull on so the hard parts done and now I'm going to start just replicating the shape of this original one to here. To do that, I'm going to have to hold on to it. What I've done is made a little, a little thin piece of wood that I can lay right in here. Keep in mind, this is solid from here to here. It's it's solid inside this little track. This has got a fragile edge. This is a very fragile edge. This is a knife edge all the way around here. You cannot clamp against that. Uh, this could be clamped against, but on the other side is a very fragile edge. So I'm going to hold it by back here and let this stick out toward me and sand this side, flip it over, sand this side. So I've made me a spacer block that gets me out past this fragile edge here on each side. It, it pushes right here in the middle where I've got good thick wood, solid wood, no holes, no milling, and I've got a tapered block I'm going to put on this side. This is a piece of pine. It's fairly soft. A lot softer than this Turkish walnut. And so that gives me something to hold on to. I can put pressure right there in my vise and I can hold it and expose this edge. So sometimes, well put this way, never 
do I know who my audience is? I don't know how much you already know. Sometimes I may tend to over explain things. If so, just ignore this old bald headed fart. Um, if you already know these things, please accept my apology. I, I never know who my audience is. I have a friend, a good friend, actually the guy that helped me get set up in this video editing software. He's a, he's a professor at a local seminary in, here in town. A uh, very dear friend of mine says he watches my YouTube videos as a way of slowing down, kind of, kind of, uh, leaving the uh, cares of his job and whatever else has got him a little tensed up. He called me the other day and told me this. I said, well, the forehand I'm working on right now is pretty slow. I said, this one may put you in a coma watching this. Keeping my eye focused on this back edge, this is where I've chiseled it down to. As I'm cutting this away to that, I'm just keeping my eye on where my plane is cutting to where this is. When I get close to that, I slow down and stop. camera is really not at a good angle to see what I'm seeing but I want you to look how pretty this piece of walnut is is that a pretty piece of wood or what only God can grow that you know that he's the only one that can grow wood like that And I'm the first one to ever see it in the state that it's in right now. I feel like Columbus discovering America sometimes. I'm the first person that ever saw that. And now you get to join me. <laughs> Talking about my buddy at the seminary, a friend of mine went to get a colonoscopy a few years ago. He's telling me about the, the anesthesiologist came in first and said we're going to do this and this and this and you'll wake up in about 30-40 minutes and you won't know whatever happened to you but uh, this is my job and, and my buddy he said yeah my job's kind of like that he said what do you mean he said well I put people to sleep for about 45 minutes as well he said what do you do he said I'm a professor at a, a university <laughs> and I stop talking they go to sleep and wake up before class ends Again, I'm just looking at this edge. I'm doing all this stuff. This is just along for the ride. I'm looking at this edge. When I come down to where I'm sanded out to where I'm almost touching that very tip, I'm done.